Hi and welcome to our telehealth video information series. My name is Garvin and this video is on Fleet Phospho. So first, what is Fleet Phospho used for? It's used to empty the bowel before surgery or in an examination such as a colonoscopy or a barium enema. Next is how does Fleet Phospho work? Fleet Phospho soda oral solution contains two active ingredients sodium dihydrogen phosphate dihydrate and disodium phosphate dodecahydrate so both of these are known as osmotic laxatives fleet phospho soda works by causing water to be drawn into the small intestine this increases the water content and volume of the intestinal contents which stimulates the intestine to contract and move its contents along to the rectum so that the bowel can then be emptied. So it causes frequent liquid stools to be passed until the bowel is emptied. This laxative medicine is used to cleanse the bowel prior to examination or surgical procedures that require the colon to be clean of stools, for example a colonoscopy. It is important to note Fleet Fossil is not used to treat constipation. And next is how do you take Fleet Fossil? So follow the instructions given by your doctor or consultant. Fleet Fossil soda should be started the day before your hospital procedure. Each dose of Fleet Fossil should be prepared when needed by diluting the contents of one bottle of the medicine in half a glass of cold water. If you have a morning appointment, you should start this bowel cleansing regime the morning before at 7 a.m. in place of breakfast. You should drink at least one full glass of clear liquid or water, more if desired. Clear liquids include water, clear soup, strained fruit juice and black tea or black coffee and clear carbonated and non-carbonated soft drinks. You should take your first dose of Fleet Phospho straight after this, followed by at least one full glass of cold water. At about 1pm that day, you should drink at least three full glasses of clear liquid for lunch. At 7pm, in place of dinner, you should drink at least one full glass of clear liquid. You should take your second dose of Fleet Phospho straight after this, followed by at least one full glass of cold water. You can then drink more water or clear fluids if you want to, up to midnight. If you have an afternoon appointment, you should have a light snack such as soup or sandwich at about 1pm on the day before your appointment. After this, you should not eat any other solid food until after your appointment. During the afternoon, you can drink clear liquid. And again, clear liquids are water, soup, the strained juices and tea and coffee and non-carbonated and carbonated soft drinks. At 7 p.m. in place of dinner, you should drink at least one full glass of liquid and you should take your first dose of Fleet Phospho straight after this, followed by at least one full glass of cold water. You should then drink at least three full glasses of water before going to bed. On the next day, which is the day of the appointment, at 7 a.m. in place of breakfast, you should drink at least one full glass of water you should take your second dose of Fleet Fossil straight after this, followed by at least one full glass of water. You can then drink more water if you want to, up until 8 a.m. You should start having frequent liquid bowel movements half an hour to six hours after your first dose of Fleet Fossil. You should make sure you stay near a toilet. When taking Fleet Fossil, it is important to make sure that fluid loss from the body is replaced by drinking plenty of fluids. It is recommended that you drink as much extra water or clear liquid as possible while the effects of Fleet Phospho persists. Fleet Phospho should not be used in children or adolescents under 18 years of age and people who are feeling sick or vomiting, people who are dehydrated and people with a blockage in the stomach or intestines and people with an abdominal hole in the stomach or intestines and also not to be used in people with reduced muscle activity in the intestines and also for people with retention of food in the stomach and also not to be used in people with severe inflammation of the large intestine and people with a sudden expansion of the large intestine 
seen in advance of ulcerative colitis or Crohn's disease and also not to be used in people with severely decreased kidney function. And finally, fleet phospho should not be used in congestive heart failure. So next is what about pregnancy and breastfeeding? The safety of fleet phospho fees during pregnancy has not been established. It should only be used during pregnancy if considered essential by your doctor. It is not known if this medicine passes into breast milk. However, sodium phosphate may pass into breast milk. The manufacturer advises that women should not breastfeed their baby during treatment and for 24 hours after taking the second dose of fleet phospho. And now, what are the side effects of fleet phospho? Very common side effects include uh, dizziness, diarrhea, abdominal pain, swelling of the abdomen, feeling a bit sick, shivering, and feeling weak. And also the headache, vomiting, chest pain, and uncommon side effects would be dehydration. And rarely you can get a buildup of calcium in the kidneys so how can this medicine affect other medicines? So this is particularly important if you are taking any regular medicine, for example, oral contraceptives or medicines for epilepsy or diabetes or antibiotics because fleet phospho may delay or completely prevent the absorption of these medicines, making them less effective or ineffective. Your doctor or pharmacist will advise you on the action to take. This will be different for each medicine. This medicine can sometimes cause an imbalance in the amount of fluid and salts in your body. This effect may be enhanced if you're also taking certain medicines. If you're taking one of the following, your doctor may recommend that you don't take it on the day you start this medicine and for up to three days afterwards. And these medicines are ACE inhibitors and your attention to receptor antagonists, so that's like COSAR and Diavan diuretic medicines like fusimide, non-steroidal anti-inflammatory painkillers like diphene or diclofenic, and steroid medicines like prednisolone or deltacortin. So ask your doctor or pharmacist for further information and advice in case this relates to you. So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact me through my website mytelehealth.info or call into Lynch's Pharmacy in Douglas and Cork or you can ring us at 021-436-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.